Hi, this is Angela and Tammy at Chesapeake College. We're going to tell you all about dual enrollment. It's a great opportunity for you to take college classes while you're in high school. The goal was definitely for you to get as many college classes as you can out of the way and then be able to transfer those to a four-year school to save you lots of time and money in the future. A lot of juniors and seniors, you're not quite sure what you want to major in, what kind of job you want to have, what you want to do after high school graduation. And this is going to be the chance for you to explore different courses. You have to take general education courses. They're the ones that you need no matter where you go to school or what you're going to major in. So you're going to need to take the psychology, sociology, history, film, music, theater. There's so many general education courses that are available for you at Chesapeake. And maybe you would take a theater class with Dr. Thompson and realize that you absolutely love that and that's the um, career that you want to pursue. Or maybe it will tell you, you know what, I don't love that, but at least I have a college class out of the way and that I won't have to take that again in the future. We've had several students that have earned their associates, their two-year degree, before gra graduating high school. It's incredible, and that's really for the extra motivated students because they were taking summer and winter classes. But that is always an option, um, and you would just let Tammy and myself know if that's something that you want to pursue. But even if you can get one semester, a year, a year and a half out of the way by taking the classes at Chesapeake, that's just going to save you time and money in the future. If you have a 3.0 overall GPA, you can take our honors courses. That looks great and very competitive on a college transcript. These are smaller class sizes, and you can also be part of our honors program, and our honors director will help you find scholarships for the four-year schools when you want to transfer. So you can save money at Chesapeake taking a dual enrollment class, and then also become part of the honors program and hopefully get scholarships to the four-year school. You can also, we recommend taking AP and dual enrollment courses. If you are currently taking an AP course, that's a year-long class that you will take. Hopefully you'll get an A or a B in the class, and then in April, at the end of the year, you'll take a test. And if you get a three on that test, then that class will transfer into Chesapeake. Now, most universities want you to get a four or a five on the AP exam. So if that's the case, then they'll transfer to those universities. But if you're able to take a combination of AP and dual enrollment, that's the way to go. That's where you can get a lot of college credits out of the way. Now, if you've taken an AP class and you got the A, but then you only got a two on the test, then maybe you just want to rethink your options and see what's the best bet for you because if you do have to have a three in order to transfer that class into a college class at Chesapeake. So can you take DE courses, dual enrollment? I hope so. You need to be a junior or a senior with a 2.5 overall GPA to take our general education classes. Now, we have several um, students at different schools that they want to take our English 101 or our English 102 course, and you just need a 3.0 overall GPA in order to take the English classes. We also have several students that are taking college algebra and college statistics, and if that's the case, you would need a 3.0 overall GPA and a grade of C or better in Algebra 2 in order to take those math courses. There's lots of different options we have in each of the different counties where you can earn dual credit, meaning that you get a high school credit and a college credit. So for instance, senior year, you could take college algebra and that would take the place of your senior year math and also give you the college credit. So let Tammy and I know if you were interested in finding out what the opportunities are in your county and we can make sure we schedule those classes for you. If you have a 504 or an IEP plan at the high school, you would want to get in contact with our Accessibility and Student Compliance Coordinator, and she would be working with you to see what resources we have available here at the college. It would not be the exact same services that you have in high school, but if you have a 504 or an IEP plan, make sure you let us know so we can get you in contact with the, the correct coordinator. Will these courses transfer? They will. That's the great thing about it is that if you're staying in state, if you're going to Salisbury, College Park, Towson, then these classes will transfer for you. 
If you were going to a private or an out-of-state school, you just want to check with that school because we can't guarantee every private or out-of-state school. Now, it will depend on what your major is, and even at the Maryland State Schools. If you take a lot of our computer classes and then decide that you want to major in theater, well, then those computer classes may not go as a major requirement. Maybe they would be electives. So as soon as you know where you want to go after Chesapeake and what you want to major in, then you just want to let us know so that we can help you work backwards to make sure you're taking those classes that you need. We'd also recommend to reach out to the transfer advisors at each of those four-year schools. They can help you. And then we have our transfer advisor, Lorelei Salano, and she would be able to work with you as soon as you're taking dual enrollment classes to make sure you're taking those courses that you need for your major. If you're not sure where you want to go, that's when we're going to be making sure that you're taking those general education classes that I mentioned earlier. Is it expensive and how can I pay? So it is college, so you will be paying for a college class, but dual enrollment students do get a discount. You get 25% off our a discount on our tuition. So one three credit course, which most of our courses are three credits, is approximately $424. Now, if you receive free and reduced meals at your public high school, then you would only have to pay the cost of the fees of the um, class, not the actual tuition, just the fees. And we have several different um, grant options depending on which county you live in. So let us know and we can get you the correct form that you would need to fill out. And we do have payment plans available. So the sooner you set up a payment plan, the less amount of money that you would have to put down. So it is expensive, but compared to other schools, it is a lot cheaper. So as Angela mentioned, it is kind of expensive, but compared to four-year schools, it is much, much cheaper. Um, for a typical three-credit class at Chesapeake College, such as English 101, Psych 150, Communications, um, that's going to be about $424 here at Chesapeake. Um, it might be a little more for online, um, but if you take that same class at Salisbury or Towson, anywhere in-state, you're paying between $1,000 and $1,300. That's just the class. That is not room and board. That is not extra fees. That is just your basic class. If you get really crazy and you want to look at out-of-state schools or somewhere like Washington College, um, that English psych communications class, $5,000 to $6,500. That's a lot more money, especially when you figure you take a couple classes every semester. Um, a typical course load is 12 to 15 credits. So it can get really expensive really fast. So it might seem like a lot right now, but it, it could be a lot worse. So moving on to, you know, what, what would your day look like? If you decided to take a dual enrollment class, um, you would definitely have more flexibility in your high school schedule and probably a little bit more independence. Um, if you're just taking one class with us, you would only take three classes at your high school. Most of your high schools will just put in a free period if you're doing an online class or a class here in Y Mills or in Cambridge. Um, if you're taking the class at your high school, then your class would be, you know, whatever period our class is and then you'd have the rest of your high school classes. Um, if you take two classes with us and two classes at the high school, then you would have two free periods during that semester at the high school. Um, the important thing to remember is that you have four classes between us and your high school every semester. You can take classes at your high school if they're offered. You can take classes at Y Mills if that's most convenient. You can take classes down in Cambridge if that's what's convenient. If you're like, hey, Tammy, none of those are close to me, so I don't like any of those options, do an online class. Make sure that you have had good experiences with online classes, and I know not everybody did, but it is a little bit different, but we still want you to be successful. So you kind of can pick your own schedule and see what works for you. Um, our classes are only two days a week, so you either have Tuesday, Thursday, or Monday, Wednesday. We always have Fridays off, so that's really awesome. So whether you take a class at your high school or you just have a free period in your high school schedule, that Friday class, you would never have class, um, which is really awesome. Gives you a little more time to get work for them for other classes. If it's your last period of the day, perhaps you can leave early if you drive and start working, or then you wouldn't have no class to miss for sports, things like that. But it really gives you a lot more flexibility um, and a lot more independence, you know, getting to be juniors and seniors in high school, earning that independence. This is a great way to do that. 
All right, so hopefully at this point, Angela and I have convinced you that you should definitely do, do dual enrollment classes. So your very next step is to apply to the college. If you have done dual enrollment, you don't need to apply. But for everybody that's new, please apply to the college. It is an online free application. It's on the right side of the chesapeake.com or chesapeake.edu homepage on the right side. It says apply today. Click through the instructions, get to the application. Um, very basic information asked for. You know, you don't need anything too crazy. Most um, most students get tripped up by the social security number because you do need your social. Um, once you've done that, talk to your guidance counselor. See if there's any classes they would recommend. Um, do you need to take a math class? But maybe you take one with us and you get a math class with us and a high school class. Um, or do you still need an art to finish up? And you can take an art class with us and it'll count. So talk with your guidance counselor to see what might be best. And then we have one form to fill out. It is our dual enrollment certification and grant form. It asks you all the questions that we need for both um, the grant and to finish the dual enrollment process. You do have to have parent and student signatures at the bottom of the page, so make sure you do that. Then you can register for classes. Angela and I will be at most uh, public high schools um, in the month of April, maybe some in May, to get um, students registered. But you can always email us. Registration opens on April 20th, which is a Wednesday. And um, you can email us anytime after the 20th to get registered. I would tell you guys, make sure you apply to the college and you fill out that certification and grant form and get that back to us as soon as possible because we cannot do any sort of paperwork to get you in a class until those papers are done. So apply to the college. We'll get it processed usually the same day or within a day or two. And the certification form, Angela and I can save it and have it on hand so that when you email us or we meet with you and you say, I want to take COM 101, we say, great, we have your certification form and we can just turn everything in. How do you know who to email? Well, if your last name starts with A through L, go ahead and email Angela. And if your last name starts with M, M through Z, email me and we will get you started. If you have questions or anything that was not answered by this, just let us know. We are happy to help. This is what we're here for. Um, and then fall classes start on August 22nd, which is a little bit before your classes here at the high school start. But that's okay. Get started a week early and we're done mid-December. So from mid-December until late January, when your semester changes at your high school, you won't have any classes at all. So start a week early and get done like a month early. It's definitely a really good trade-off. So what happens if after you meet with Angela and I and your classes are all set, but something happens, life gets in the way. Um, we understand, no big deal. We recommend you change your schedule before classes start. As soon as the first day of classes hits, you um, potentially lose some of your money and there could be additional fees for switching classes. So that gives you all summer to figure it out, make sure it's straight and, and get everything taken care of. We will tell you that you have to talk to your guidance counselor first because you have to have those four classes. And if you drop one of our classes, you might have to pick something up at the high school. So you have gotta talk to them first, then email myself or Angela, and we can get the paperwork processed for you to drop a class, change a class, add a class, whatever the case may be. Just make sure you talk to your guidance counselor first. And that is our presentation. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this video on our website. And again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to Angela or myself. We are more than happy to help. Have a great day.